welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy, and in this video, we're going to tell you all the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Well, last week was a blast showcasing two Mythic Games products at the Dice Tower Autumn Spectacular and being able to take part in several other games on live streams. This week, it's very much a back-to-the-grind mindset, though, but that's cool because I actually like my job. My buddy JT and I will be getting Monster Apocalypse to the table in preparation for doing a recorded playthrough very soon, and we're looking forward to sinking our teeth into the upgraded materials for Darkest Dungeon as soon as they come in for a playthrough of that, too. There's a lot of things moving and shaking around here, so stay tuned. Now, we do have updates for Time of Legends Joan of Arc 1.5, Solomon Kane Wave 2, Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2, Steam Watchers, Hell the Last Saga. So, let's get to it. For Joan of Arc today, we wanted to give you as much updated information as possible where things are right now. For VFI Asia, COVID restrictions in their areas are actually restricting them from delivering to the warehouse currently. How long the delay will be is pending and may have to wait until after a holiday that actually happened last week on October 5th. So we may have some better updated information next week for you on that. For VR distribution, the estimated dates that we have for when the product will reach the hub still extends to October 25th. For Meeple Logistics, we've reported that six out of the ten containers have been loaded onto the ships for transport. The first two of those containers now have an estimated date of reaching the port on October 22nd to be delivered to Meeple Logistics on October 29th. For D6 and Quartermaster Logistics in North America, we are currently still waiting on the last two containers to be loaded onto a ship. And we haven't been given any updated information about the containers headed to Spiral Galaxy in the UK. Rest assured, however, that with all the areas of shipment, we will update you as soon as we can when we're given new updates for product moving. Finally, I want to make sure that everyone knows that this is the last week that our customer support team will be able to process address changes for Joan of Arc 1.5. If we don't receive your address change by this Friday, October 15th, then you'll have to wait until the address verification emails are sent out by the hubs. These will go to the email you used to pledge or late pledge during the campaign and or pledge manager. And you'll have a very short window of just two days to fill them out. So make sure that you're diligent and prompt in looking for and replying to that address verification email. Thank you so much for your support and patience. Now, just a brief update for both Solomon Kane Wave 2 and Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2. We've made the decision to ship both of those products together in November. This mainly affects Solomon Kane as it is currently packed and ready to go. The reason why we've made this decision is that by sending these together, we'll be able to have full containers of just our products and thus achieve better conditions when we ship. This doesn't only have to do with the skyrocketing shipping costs, but also it has to do with the potential for unforeseen issues, as sending these two separately would mean that we have to wait until containers with our product are filled with some other product as well, since no containers will be sent half empty. This could result in delays when finding such products, as well as delays when clearing customs, as the different products in a container would have to undergo different clearance processes, but the containers would still clear customs as a whole. After careful consideration, we've decided that it makes more sense to wait a bit longer until Super Fantasy Brawl Round 2 is ready to ship than to ship them separately and increase our risks. The situation is still somewhat different than what we're used to, and we're adapting to the circumstances. So we certainly want to thank you for your patience and your support along the way. Now, to close this bit of the update, here's a little bit of Solomon Kane packed and ready to go.
For Steam Watchers today, our North American backers can expect to start seeing address verification emails popping up in their inboxes as D6 and Quartermaster Logistics start processing those pledges. For our backers in the UK, Spiral Galaxy has updated on its social media that a processing jam in customs has delayed the delivery of Steam Watchers to the Spiral Galaxy warehouse. It was reported that some tea located in the same container as our product didn't pass inspection and the tea had to be destroyed. Our product, however, was not the source of concern, just an innocent bystander. As of Thursday last week, Spiral Galaxy stated on their social media that they were still awaiting notification of delivery of Steam Watchers to the Spiral Galaxy warehouse and that they would keep their customers informed as they get more information. You can contact them at fulfillment support at spiralgalaxygames.co.uk. But please do keep your interactions with them civil. Feel free to also contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net if you have any further questions. For Hill the Last Saga today, we are near the end of the final calculation of quantities for each component. This means that we've begun working on the final design of the core box packaging and the optional deluxe storage system. But we've also been forced to change a couple things associated with products presented in the pledge manager. Number one, the playmat. The original size of the playmat turned out to be too small to accommodate some scenarios and still be practical to use regarding the tracks inherited from the new version of the saga board shown in the last update. So we decided to increase its size. The playmat was 90 centimeters by 70 centimeters, but is now 120 centimeters by 90 centimeters. A preview thumbnail will be available in the next few days on the Pledge Manager, so go check that out. Number two, the sleeve packs. The estimated number of sleeves needed for the game has proven to be outdated since we revised the format of the song boxes earlier this year. The new estimate for the sleeves is 850 tarot cards instead of 400, 150 poker-sized sleeves instead of 174, and 120 mini euro-sized sleeves instead of just 150. The change has been reflected on the product page of the Pledge Manager, too. While the possibility for this estimate to change slightly still exists, keep in mind that the number of tarot cards has more than doubled in the end, and these improvements will not translate to any additional costs to you. In other news, the developers are in the process of finalizing an English prototype close to the final rendering so that I can show you a live game of Song 1 with the new narrative and updated materials. So please just have a little more patience because it is on the way and I'm excited to share that with you. Finally, we've decided to change the frequency of our updates for Hell the Last Saga. We're in the final phase of the game's development, and we'd rather commit ourselves to a monthly update with a progress chart than to simply distill small spoilers and keep you waiting. This also gives you time to ask questions that we will answer either right away or save them for the next update. As soon as the first plastic figures, box shots, and white samples are released, we will post pictures for you too, and that's a promise. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or if you'd just like to see what he might spoil. My wife and I will be doing a live playthrough on Thursday this week in our Mythic Plays series, and I'll be hosting a live Q&A on Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to answer any questions you may want to ask me about whatever. <laughs> but that's it for today, though. Stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>